Hey everybody! If you want to see how we made these beautiful white and purple coasters that we piped into the molds, then stick with us as we resin together. Hi everybody, so we're ready to make some geode coasters. Today we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to try piping our colors in together to make a petal formation, so I guess not really a geode, more like a flower, uh, but we're going to get that started. So I've already poured resin into our molds. It's uh, just starting to set up. It's still just a little bit stringy, so we have that. Let me just smooth that back out. There we go. So that is important. Uh, for what we're about to do because we want to have that layer uh, for our piped resin. We're going to use piping bags to put it out for our piped resin to float on and spread through. And so we're going to get started. So we'll be using the May Spring Purple Amethyst today, the Black Diamond uh, Pure uh, Pearl White as well, and then from uh, Pinata we're going to be using the Passion Purple, and then for the center the Marbler's uh, Glitter and the purple as well. So we're going to be using that uh, kind of a purple and white theme going on today. Uh, obviously the amethyst is going to be a dark purple. We're going to use the pinata uh, to make a lighter purple. So let's get started. First we're going to pour up just a little bit of resin for the centers. That'll be our glitter. And then about half a cup each. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see how much we got for each of our colors. All right, so going up to a third cup, just because we got some extra, and we want to make sure we have plenty in the piping bag to do what we want to do. There we go. All right, so we'll set that to the side. We'll start with our glitter. Ooh. Now make sure you use a decent amount of this because you want to have a good solid glittery center. Now the other important part is that we want to have the glitter on the inside uh, already in the molds to begin setting up because that will keep our glitter from sinking down into our project because glitter loves to sink down through the layers of resin so having uh, the resin already started to set up and gelled will keep our glitter from sinking to the bottom and becoming lost. So there is that. Looks real pretty. Real good there with the glitter. So that'll look nice as well. Alright, next let's mix our pinata. Make sure it's mixed up good. We'll start with 10 drops. see how that goes. I'm going for a light purple on this one so I don't want it to be real heavy. Okay, kind of a pale purple. What we're actually going to do is get a little bit of paper towel. I just want to see what that's going to look like because in the cup it often looks darker than it is. So if you see there that's kind of a, a lavender purple and I think that's what we're going for. Just a nice light color. There that'll be offset by the dark amethyst so we'll have a good contrast on that one. Alright next we're gonna mix in our so our white the pure pearl white Get that in there. Alright there's our white again nice pearl color look good with the purples and then finally we'll mix up our purple amethyst. All right, and there is our purple amethyst. Nice deep color there. It's going to do very well. All right, so we have our piping bags out. We're going to fill those up in just a second. There's our purple. Okay. 
And I kind of forgot to mention, but our resin was at about 100 degrees, 101 actually, when we got started. That's about where you want it. You don't want it to start setting up, but uh, part of this is that it needs to hold its shape as we're piping out our design. So we kind of want it to be setting up and getting a little bit thick. So I like to get it uh, to somewhere between 95 and 100 degrees, 101 degrees. Uh, so just something to keep in mind with that as well. That's kind of that perfect spot to where it's starting to gel. And now you'll need to experiment with your resin because it might be different. For you, for me with the ClearCast 7000, in my room with my humidity and everything going on here, that is what works for me. All right, let's put our purple in there. That's pretty, that gel is gonna be a pretty color. All right, there's our purple one. And then finally, we have our glitter for the center. So I'm going to go ahead and get that poured in. Now, just for reference, we're at about 105, 106 degrees. So we're right at that place. I start putting it in the bags at 100. By the time I start getting it onto the surface, it's usually about 106. So we're right on schedule. So I'm just going to take just a little bit of this and pour in the center. Okay, now that we have our centers in, we can start piping our resin. So I'm going to just get a little paper towel here and cut off just the tip. Cut a little bit off, see how that flows, and that's right what I want. So we're good there. So I'm going to start and kind of make pattern like petals. Next, we're going to put the white in. There we go. Nice fine line. Start from the ridge of one and go down to the ridge of the next. Now, you don't want to get the lines too far apart because you want to keep that symmetry. on your line. There we go. Now our dark purple. Same thing, we want to keep our line.
back with our light purple. Start over. Let's see if we can squeeze one more line of the white in there just to finish this off. So now we're just going to take a toothpick and from each of these we're just going to pull in, not out, in, to bring those together. And then last we're going to pull just a little bit out to give the center of each petal just a little more definition as well, just to make it a little more interesting. There we go. So we've got them pulled around for each one and then pulled through the middle. So I'm just going to use the heat gun a little bit just to spread the colors and pop any bubbles that have come up. All right. So we'll let these uh, set up and cure. The colors hopefully will kind of bloom and pull together. And then we'll take a look and see what they look like when we unmold them. Okay, everybody. So our coasters have set up and we're ready to unmold them. It's been overnight. So let's go ahead and take these out. Going around the outside, slowly pull them out of the mold. Love the way the colors have kind of bloomed across each other. Looks very nice. And there's the back side. That lavender really showed through very well. I think that's very pretty. Very nice. Ready. Here's the back. I think on these you almost could use either side. The back is almost as pretty, I think. So it'll be a hard choice on which side to use for these coasters. Here's the front side and the back. Very pretty. A little bit off center, but you know what? Even in nature, nothing is perfectly centered and symmetrical, so don't be afraid to let things happen as they are. Front and the back. Alright. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. These are definitely beautiful and I've enjoyed making them. Uh, if you'd like to do these for yourself, then I will make sure that all the links to the products used today are in the description below and of course if you've enjoyed the video then I would ask that you please uh, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep track of all the videos as they come out 
Uh, but most of all, I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you for joining us as we resin together.